Now, what is a class? A class is basically a way to model objects when we are programming, right? So imagine I wanted to model a human person in a code program, right? So I would go ahead and define a class because a, a class is essentially a template, right? A template for modeling different things, right? So I could go ahead and define a class, let's say person, right? So it'd be, let's say, let's go here. So let's see how we could model a person as a object in a computer programming language, right? So let's go ahead and say class person, right? And this will be the template for creating our people, right? Or, or our person, right? So what does a person have? What is a person built of? Well, a person has a name. Let's just leave it blank. A person can have a surname, also blank. A person has an age, right? So, well, we could say this is just zero by default. A person can have a height, right? And let's say a person can have a nationality. And let's leave this blank as well, right? So here we are essentially defining a template to model a person, right? So now let's create a person, right? So I'm going to say Michael. So this is a new variable is equal to person, right? So Michael is of type person, is of class person, right? So let's see and continue defining Michael, right? So Michael has a name of Michael, right? And Michael has a surname of Gradic, right? Michael has, al has also a age of 25 and Michael has a height of 182 centimeters tall and Michael has a national whoops nationality of Polish okay great so we have defined a person right so now this we, we can do all sorts of things with with this person right but let's define another person Bob is equal to a person as well so Bob dot name is equal to Bob Bob dot surname is equal to Smith so on and so forth I think you get the idea but the, the the whole concept of a class is like I said before it's a template to create objects right and and the object can be anything in this case we have objectified people right we have created people and the good thing about classes is that see we have defined a template or a class here and we can use it twice, right? So, you know, this is reusing code, right? So we, we don't have to implement this model or this template over and over again. We can just reuse it all the time, right? So this is, this is one of the biggest foundations of object-oriented programming, right? To reuse objects, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and, and delete this code and go back to our main handler, right? So our main handler is basically a class right and, and what do we have here in between parentheses well we have a web app 2 request handler okay so what is this web app 2 request handler so if we go ahead and again command or control click it takes us to another class right and so so what is this class well essentially this class is our request handler object or request handler template right we are going to be using this request handler to process the requests coming in and send out responses to our clients or to our users, okay? So, what does this mean? Well, basically, we are saying class main handler is, and in parentheses, we indicate on top of which class do we want to build upon, or in other words, on top of which class do we want to extend on, right? So we are extending or building on the web app 2 request handler. So essentially what we are doing is importing the exact same functionality that's already been coded into this request handler, and we are going to build on top of it in our main handler. So what this allows us to do is we don't need to re-implement a entire framework for handling requests because this is already done for us by Web App 2, right? By the Web App 2 framework. So we can just build on top of this framework. And the way of building on top of this framework is to inherit their, their class or extend on their class or, or build on top of their class.
So this is why we use classes because this is our template for our uh, main handler and our template for our main handler is getting the same functionality that's all already defined in the in web apps 2 template for handling requests so we don't need to build that code ourselves we can just use it